Services is a tool for running automated analyses in TIBCO Spotfire. In order to get started, you must have access to TIBCO Spotfire Automation Services and Spotfire Analyst in a Windows environment. In what follows, we will create a simple job that will export an analysis to PDF and email it on an automated schedule. In order to configure the email settings, we need to export the Automation Services configuration file. This is done with the command from the Tomcat bin folder within the Spotfire service installation directory. Once this is ran, navigate to the config root folder. From here, open up the spotfire.dxp worker.automation file. Enter the port, whether or not to use TLS, username and password, as well as the SMTP server and sender email for the email account. Make sure to save your changes. Return to the command window and run the import command to import the edited file back to Spotfire server. Once completed, head to Spotfire server from your browser. Navigate to the automation services within the nodes and services page. Here we see a new configuration file is available. By clicking on the link, we can now update the service with the new file. Notice the loading icon. Once we have the green check mark, we are ready to open Spotfire Analyst. From Tools, select Automation Services Job Builder. This is the interface for creating jobs. By clicking Add, we can see all of the jobs available. The first task of nearly every job will be to open the analysis of interest. I will browse and select the expense analysis I would like to share. Next, I want to export the PDF. After adding this job, I can either browse to it or manually type in a location for the PDF to be saved. I don't need the entire analysis sent, but I do want each visualization on a separate page, so I will adjust the settings accordingly. The last step is to send this PDF via email. After adding the send email task and filling in the appropriate information, we can add the PDF as an attachment. There are also other options such as embedding the analysis or sending the library link. Now we are ready to test our job by going to Tools Execute on Server. We can see each task executed. After a successful execution, it will read done. Let's go check my email to see if we received the email successfully. Here we can see that not only received the email, but the PDF is attached. Note that most email providers will require you to change your account settings to allow less secure apps to access your email. Now let's save this job for future use. Next, we will look into how we can schedule this job with Windows Tasks Scheduler. This will allow us to run this task automatically. First, navigate within the Automation Services bundle to the folder containing the Job Sender application. Here we also have the XML configuration file we need to edit. We will edit this file to contain the Spotfire server username and password of a user with access to Automation Services. We can now open the Windows Task Scheduler and create the task. After naming it, move to the triggers. Here we can decide when we want our tasks ran. I want this to be ran every Friday. So next, let's create the action. For the program field, enter the file location of the job sender application, and then add two arguments separated by a space. The first will be the address of the Spotfire server, in my case, localhost, followed by the location of the job file created earlier. Now we are all set, and we can test this by clicking Run. Start creating automated analyses today by going to spotfire.tibco.com. If you have any questions, head over to the Spotfire community, where you'll find thousands of people who are working together to solve real analytics problems. Leave any questions or suggestions in the comments, and of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.